Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Janelle, and I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Sorry if you hear lawn mowing in the background. Every time I film, someone's mowing their lawn. But in today's video, I'm so excited because today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my backyard kind of like patio deck situation transformation. You guys are gonna see my patio go from this, looking all crusty, dusty, lack of luster, to this. I cannot wait for you guys to see the transformation. I vlogged the whole process. It was like maybe like a few week process with everything coming in. But the best part about everything in this video is that it's all so affordable. And I got all of the items for my backyard deck from either Walmart or Amazon. So if you're interested in kind of transforming your outdoor space, but you want to do it on a budget, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. If you're new to my channel, I do vlogs here and there. I also do beauty lifestyle videos and all of that. So if that's something you're interested in seeing from me, then definitely consider subscribing. Notification bells can be notified every Wednesday and Friday when I upload. And yeah, let's get into this patio transformation. So this is what we are working with so far. Very lackluster, but it has good bones and potential. I love the grapevines. I know I definitely want to add some lighting because I feel like that'll just really look nice with the grapevines and set a nice ambiance. They are though taking down that like back corner little like siding area. So we'll eventually have to remove them, but that'll be for a later project. For right now though, I definitely know I want to add a sectional of some sort, maybe a bistro set, an outdoor rug would be really nice. Just because I'm not a huge fan of the color of the wood on our deck, but again, that's a really big project. I wanna do something quick and easy, and I think adding an outdoor rug might help with that a little bit and just really take this outdoor area to the next level. So stay tuned, we're gonna transform this into something beautiful. All right, so I ordered this um, set from Amazon. It's like a little sectional, so Alex is actually putting it together now. Babe, I also bought a rug from Walmart. It should have come in perfect. Yay! And then the rug from Walmart came in here. So we're gonna put the rug here, put the little sectional or sectional this way. And then I also, this is like the little coffee table that it comes with that will be right here. And then here I ordered a bistro set. It should be in within the next two days. Alex picked up my twinkle lights that I ordered from Walmart and we're gonna like put them probably along here. Just make it have a whole vibe. And I'm so excited. It's all part of the process. Don't mind our um, Christmas doormat. We're, we'll swap that out. These are the lights that I got from Walmart. They're by the Better Homes brand. And it comes with 20 bulbs. It is 20 feet. I got two of them to start, but I figured if I needed more, I could always get more. And then I also think I need to buy an extension cord for these, but we'll see. I can't wait to get everything together. Ooh, let me show you what else I got. I wanted to add some greetery, don't mind. These are all the boxes that the patio furniture came in. But I also wanted to, I wanted to add some greenery to the um, outdoor living space. However, I'm just not a plant person. So, faux lavender um, little bundles. It comes with like 15 of them for $15, which I thought was not a bad deal at all. Ooh, the purple is vibrant. So the purple, I think I wanna keep the white ones for outside. But the purple ones, I kind of wanted to put them in my little side room. Let me show you guys. I thought it would be super vibey and like here, maybe if I swap out the pompous grass, the purple up against the green. I don't know. When I put it in, I'll show you guys. You can let me know what you think. So yeah, as far as the white bundle goes, I gotta find a cute little like base to put them in, in the little like coffee table-ish thing that is for the patio. So I gotta find that still. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but Pretty much everything um, that I got for the patio so far have been from Amazon and from walmart.com. Last thing that I purchased from Amazon were these little like black linen pillow covers because the set comes with red pillows, which I did not want. So I figured black linen would be like a nice little pop and make it kind of like cozy. Um, and these are outdoor pillow covers, so it'll be easier to like clean. What's going on, Choka? You look crazy. I did your ponytail too. Wow, babe, it looks so good. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love this rug. So happy we went with this rug. So Alex finally finished putting together the sectional. It legit fits perfect here. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we could even put a little side table there. Get a little side table for right there. And then... You know, I had a dream that you put it there and I was like, it's not supposed to go there. It's supposed to go here. And literally my dream last night, you put it there. It would fit better there. I just like the idea of having the bistro set here and then you could like look out and just like be in there, but we could, we could play with it and put it there. Wow, I love it. I want to get a centerpiece to put in here. Um, a little side table here. We're going to string the lights. Ooh, maybe a little, well, I guess it wouldn't make sense to have us throw a blanket outside. <laughs> it looks so good. I love it. I think we should scoot the rug back a little bit though, but I really like it. This rug was from Walmart. It was only like $49 or $40. And then um, Alex added the little pillow covers because these pillows were red, but these were the pillow colors I was talking about yesterday um, that I ordered from Amazon. They were like 20 bucks. It came with a pack of four. And I think that they look really nice. I love the pop of black. I'm obsessed. I'm going to keep you guys posted on like the other things that we add to it. Like as we get like the little centerpieces, as we get the bistro set in. But so far, I think that this is so cute. I'm obsessed with it so far. All right, we have a little update. I literally just built this table. I got it from Amazon and it only took me about two hours to build. <laughs> I love it. So I put it in this little corner. For example, this base I picked up from Walmart, those flowers I got from Amazon, I showed you guys earlier. But I love this table. I love the way it looks. I love the quality of it. However, beware if you get it, the instructions make zero sense. Like I'm gonna show you guys the instructions in a few seconds. And it was literally all a guessing game. I have so many pieces left over. So I'm pretty sure I didn't even build it right. It's a little wobbly but she's still cute. So um, I'm probably gonna have Alex take a look at it later just to make sure everything's right. But yeah, definitely recommend it. Just, I recommend getting it if you know somebody who's good at building stuff and who can try to guess and figure out the instructions. Also, I don't know if I showed you guys, I think I did. I showed you guys the mats that we put here. Um, what else did we add? We added this little table from Walmart. This was only like, I think 20 bucks, 20 or 40, I can't remember. So these are the instructions here. Like what, please tell me if you can make out what that is. Like you can't even see, normally I can look at the pieces and kind of guess what goes where. Couldn't even see the pieces. You can't see like anything. They're just so vague. And then this is all the extra stuff that was left over. So I know for a fact I did not build it right but she's still standing. So I have this extra box of outdoor lights that I wanna hang up in a little bit. I wanna put it above, let me show you guys. So basically I wanna string another set of lights kind of up here. That way I can really tie in the vibe. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Alex also got a Blackstone grill. It's like a hibachi grill type of thing. Let me show you guys. So I don't know if you can see, it's like a hibachi grill best investment ever so i'll leave that link down below we're not big like grilling out people but you can make some smash burgers some hibachi on here and it's just right, so yeah. so i hung it kind of here i don't know how i like it just going across maybe you guys let me know what you think i either way i'm gonna have to reverse i feel like it kind of looks pretty sloppy unless i brought this further down here I don't know. I can't tell if I like it or not, and it's hard to tell because it's daytime. But I don't think I like it drooping like that. Like, then I feel like people obviously taller than me, which are a lot of people, <laughs> will hit their head. So we're going to redo this. We're going to kind of line it up against the wall here.
think that looks good. Just kind of like strung along inside of here. Again, you guys will get the full vibe at night. But the next thing I want to take care of is this. So this grapevine is great for privacy, but it is literally, when we bought the house, it was like taking down this whole portion. And yeah, I need to, now I feel like it's really taking it down. So I'm gonna try to cut this up. It's so pretty, but like this part is just not cute. Like, looks a little ratchet. And this is my outdoor buddy, just getting some sun. You like it, Choka? Do you like the updates, Choka? He's out cold. In the manor. In the manor. This is the finished patio. Run over of everything and just kind of explain to you guys where I got everything. We kept this renovation super affordable. Keep my glass of Chardonnay right there. But we kept everything like so affordable, but it looks so luxurious and I am just so happy with the turnaround of this and just how much I use this space now ever since just investing in a few just simple pieces. So you guys already saw our little welcome mat, but when you walk out of the door, this is what you see. It's so relaxing. I already talked about this table a little bit earlier, but just a refresher, I got this table from Walmart. I'll try to find the exact link to link it down below, but it was so affordable. Like I said, it was at least under $40 and it's like a faux marble, but it's like an iron material, so it's perfect for the outdoor weather. But we got this little Bose speaker to play um, music. We got this on Amazon, and I love it. It's so tiny, but so mighty. It leaves such a nice ambiance for your outdoor space. So if you don't have outdoor speakers, I definitely recommend getting something like this. And it's so small, so it's not like an eyesore anywhere. And I just love it for this outdoor area. I'm always playing some lo-fi music from this Bose speaker. Now moving on to the couches. We got the furniture set from Amazon. It was under $400. And I really like it because it's a modular furniture piece. So you can kind of like move them around as you would like. If we wanted to separate like this piece and you know put it in a corner here or the middle piece, we could rearrange it as we would like. And something that Alex and I were thinking about doing was purchasing another couch and kind of making it come along this way and then moving the bistro set somewhere else. So that's a nice option about having a modular couch is that if you decide you want more, there's a fly on my camera. If you decide you want more seating area, you can buy another one and kind of like connect them or break it up as you would like. And then what was also cool is that it came with this little ottoman coffee table here. And the couch is just like a wicker material, both the ottoman and the couch. And then it has like a nice little glass top that could use a good cleaning. <laughs> but I thought that was really nice that it came with the coffee table already. It also came with two pillows. 
the pillows were a bright red so i got these black linen pillow covers from amazon mind you it has rained so much and these pillow covers were made for outdoors and it's really protected them it hasn't like tarnished or changed colors at all which i really like so we put that over the red pillows that it came with but then we also had some extra pillows from ikea that were like seven bucks and we just put them on over top they have little zippers you just open up stuff your pillow in and i think that'll be nice because then we can change the pillow seasonally but i am just obsessed with the way the black pillows set the whole vibe here like i'm so happy i went with black pillows i love it and then this rug i am so in love with i'm so glad i went with this rug instead of the other rug that i was thinking about going with because i just feel like it's such a fun element to the outdoor space since everything else is so simple i love like the pattern and the vibe of this it was so affordable like i want to say it was like 40 bucks um, I definitely wish I would have sized up with the rug, but I still feel like it ties into the space really nice. But it's rained so much since we've gotten it, and this rug was made for outdoors, and it hasn't like messed up. We've also spilt stuff on this already, and it's so easy to clean. Like, it's not a regular rug, so it's not going to absorb any like water or stains, which is really nice. And I just feel like it looks so luxurious and nice. I'll try to find it and link it down for you guys. So I got both of my rugs from Walmart and then the side table from Walmart. Furniture set is from Amazon. Pillow covers are from Amazon. And then over here, I'm not a very good gardener, so I got some faux floral plants for the center of the ottoman and for the center of the bistro set. They are both from Amazon. They're just lavender little floral bundles that came with a pack of 15 for I think $15. So I got a set in white and then a set in purple to add some pops of color. And I just love the way they look. This is just a little outdoor candle to like prevent bugs and stuff from coming in the area. The lights I got by the brand Better Homes from Walmart. And I got two sets of lights. You guys saw me hang up the second lights earlier. And then they're connected on an extension cord over here that's from Walmart. It's like a 50 foot long extension cord and then it just plugs into an outlet right behind the house. But I just seriously love the vibe that the lighting gets like if you're gonna do your outdoor space you it's essential like this piece is essential you need to add the lights because the lights set the whole vibe the lights and the speakers those are two necessities <laughs> and then this is the bistro set that i had the hardest time putting together but she's here and she's thriving and she's looking cuter than ever so this was from amazon it was under 150 and it's a nice like brassy tone which i really like because it kind of ties in with the espresso of the furniture i just really wanted a nice like little parisian touch to it i'm obsessed with anything parisian and i feel like this does just that and then i added again the florals from amazon and then this little vase was only four dollars from walmart again i'll try to link everything and leave it down below so you guys can shop my outdoor patio space but i just love this cozy little corner here initially i wanted the bistro set on the corner over here but alex ended up purchasing a black so i had to move the bistro set here but i honestly i think i like it better here it just looks so cozy and then it's nice because then if we have guests over we have like extra seating kind of like facing where everyone would be sitting and then this is the black stone that alex got earlier sorry just threw the cover on the floor but if you guys aren't big like grilling people this is so amazing it's like a really nice hibachi stove top we've cooked chicken on here we've cooked hibachi we've cooked hot dogs you can do hamburgers like there's so much that you can do on here and i'm telling you like the way it makes the food is just absolutely amazing. Not to mention, I really love this because it has gotten my husband to start cooking and I'm just obsessed. We got this one from Walmart. This is like the smaller size and I, this was under $300. So it was very affordable. I think Alex got it on sale. So again, I will link this down below. And then we got like a little hibachi tool set to go with it that I, will, that I will also try to find and link down below. But this just really sets the vibe for the outdoor space because now we're able to have little like cooking dinner parties out here. Alex and cook on the deck while we're all just like hanging out. And it's just so nice. Like I seriously, I seriously love it. I will also link the covers that we got for both the Blackstone and for the patio set. 
I'll leave that link down below. We got them both from Amazon. Before we got the cover for it, it rained one of the days and the water literally just sat on top and you're able to wipe it right off. Like this material won't absorb the water. But we just figured for longevity, it would be best to get a cover. Plus that way if it rains and once it stops raining, we don't have to wait for our couch to dry. We can just remove the cover and everything's good. And the cover is so big, it literally covers the entire couch, little coffee table, and like literally all of the rug. So I'll leave that linked down below as well. And all right, you guys, I know it look crazy, but that wraps it up for our outdoor patio transformation. This does anything to you. I just hope that it inspires you to just do something to amp up your outdoor space. It literally, it's so great because it's like a whole extra living area outside of your house literally spent so much time out here i'm so glad i finally bit the bullet bought the furniture and got this stuff to just make the most out of the space not to mention it's also really good to get some vitamin d and if you're ever feeling down if you just like sit outside for a little bit at least for me personally it makes me feel so much better i'm just so thankful for how much god has blessed my home and how we've just been able to make every space feel so cozy i'm just so grateful for every space in our home that like we're able to utilize and that we love and i'm being able to invite family over to enjoy that space if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like i said i will leave every single thing linked down below so you guys can shop my outdoor patio set pick and choose what you guys want to get um and yeah that wraps up for this video i love you all so much i pray that you all stay safe and i'll see you guys next time bye